Hello, my friends. It's time for Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy, hosted by Brenda from Monarch's Market. Links to the host and the playlist will be in the description box. For this first DIY, I'm using one of these galvanized planters from a Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cover this in some white, um, titanium white folk art so that I could do some decoupaging with Magical Mod Podge. My paint is all dry. I have a napkin from the Dollar Tree. It's a lemon slice. It's a full out slice when you fully unfold the napkin, but I only want to use half, so I have a lemon wedge that will come all the way around the bottom of my galvanized planter. So I just want to separate my napkin layers, and of course, you can paint this if you're really good at painting or if you want to paint it, but I like this napkin and I like to decoupage, so I want to decoupage mine on. Let's set this one with that white middle. I'm gonna start out with this matte mod podge and just go a little ways down at a time with my napkin. Welcome back to my subscribers, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you'd consider subscribing. It's totally free. Okay, so all of the Mod Podge is dry. So for this outer portion, I'm gonna brush on a bit of this bright yellow. The trippy brush from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bit of puffy paint and just embellish the separation just a wee bit more to where this is so it extends up.
And here is my lemon wall planter all finished. These are really versatile. You can use these with succulents, with just plain greenery, or fill them with a combination of greenery and florals. Really loving the way this looks. For beautiful thrift flips, farmhouse decor, and more, please check out Brenda's channel, Monarch's Market. I'm starting with DIY out with my old Tuscan grape pitcher from my old kitchen decor, some gloss white Rust-Oleum paint, and a lemon placemat from Dollar Tree. Okay. This pitcher has been refreshed. It's a blank slate now. It's beautiful. No more Tuscan grapes. So what I'm gonna do is take my little detail scissors and cut um, a couple of these lemons and place one on each side. I think it'd be really pretty to have just right here one of these lemons. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut out. Okay, so I got a grouping of lemons cut out, and I think that'll look really nice in the picture like that. So I'm using dishwasher safe Mod Podge, so this can be wiped clean and the image won't be affected. I think this turned out gorgeous. On the opposite side, I added a cluster of two lemons and this is going to look so beautiful in my kitchen. Okay, so for this DIY, I had a pizza pan. This will be my very first pizza pan DIY ever. I love the way the picture turned out so much with the fabric from the placemat that I cut out two more. And I have these Mackenzie Childs Royal Check napkins that I'm gonna decoupage onto my pan and then apply my lemon cutouts over that i think the blue and the yellow will just be very beautiful so let's get started and i'll get this pan covered in some white paint okay so now my paint is dry i'm gonna get my napkins and see about how many I'm going to need to fully cover oh, I have 
to get the, them turning the same way. The patterns have to match these little pink streets. These are going sideways and these are going straight up and down. So I have to make sure I match them up. So probably three. Excess will cover that. Okay, first thing I have to do now that I know how many it's going to take is separate. I'm cutting off the blue edging at the very end and on the next napkin I ended up cutting off the very first row so that they would be a continuous blue white blue white because each napkin has blue on each end so for it to look seamless I had to cut off one end of the other napkin so it would start with the white check I hope that makes sense I just want to take my time and do small sections at a time with this so that I don't get any tears and I use the saran wrap to pat down my napkin into my Mod Podge to help ensure that my napkins don't tear because if I just stick my fingers down and continuously rub I will end up with tears so the plastic just helps create a barrier to help smooth out the napkin and make it just a little bit easier for the napkin to lay down and prevent the tears. These have a bit of fabric that needs to be separated before they can do my podge down. And I think maybe this one can go here. So I'm going to apply these lemons with the same dishwasher safe Mod Podge and since I'm decoupaging them and I've removed that fabric backing, the blue check will be visible through my lemon. So if you don't like the decoupage look for your lemons, you can just leave that bottom layer of that fabric on and just use some fabric glue and apply your lemons directly on top of your pan. Okay, here we are all finished and this will be displayed in my kitchen in this plate rack but I think I want to be a bit extra and add a bit of embellishment at the top maybe a little greenery swag and a nice ribbon I have this beautiful black and white striped ribbon from Hobby Lobby and this Dollar Tree lemon ribbon let's see how they look together
I'm not sure if I like that one, or maybe I should try to make a little faux lemon. I saw Rebecca Virginia do this with a little styrofoam egg, so I'm gonna paint this yellow and see how I like that. Okay, so my little fake lemon is dry and I snipped this from a tiny rose bush and I think that will work as my lemon like that. Okay, so now I think I'm done with this display platter. I readjusted my lemon a little bit and that was it. I am loving the way this turned out. This will make such a beautiful display in my kitchen and I made it myself and saved myself a ton of money by not actually purchasing a Mackenzie Child's platter. Let me know what do you think of this and here's a look back at my other two lemon DIYs. I hope you've enjoyed them today. Please enjoy the playlist and don't forget to check out our wonderful host Brenda. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.